the reason why I just love this case is because it demonstrates one of the most fundamental principles of pathology. And if you divide all diseases morphologically or anatomically into degenerative, inflammatory, and neoplastic, the inflammatory third of all diseases classically would contain neutrophils infiltrates as the acute form of infection and lymphocytic or and or macrophagic or histiocytic inflammation as the chronic form of the disease maybe even leading into fibrosis. And in the intermediate or organizing phase of the disease, you could see perhaps some remnant uh, features of either, but you also have a lot of prominent budding blood vessels. This is acute inflammation of bone and cartilage. You may some see some evidence for organizing inflammation as well. And even though we don't particularly know the cause, it, uh, it doesn't matter. I want to demonstrate one of the most fundamental principles of pathology here. You could recognize these as bone spicules. You could recognize this as hemorrhage around the bone. You could recognize this as perhaps some fibrous tissue between the spicules. But you can also recognize this as being inflammatory cells with respect to the bony spicules. And in this case, uh, I think they're chiefly uh, lymphocytes, but I think if you look here, 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 they're probably half lymphocytes and half neutrophils. So this is not entirely chronic inflammation. This is acute uh, osteomyelitis. And guess what? You know that if you see cartilage and you see, like you see here, and you see inflammatory cells surrounding the cartilage, like you see here. These are principally neutrophils. You can also diagnose acute chondritis as well. If these were chiefly lymphocytes, you might call it chronic chondritis, at least theoretically, if there was such a thing. And there is. Here's another piece of bone. Here's another piece of bone, spicules, and guess what? There are a good number of inflammatory cells surrounding this spicule as well. They look like they're probably both uh, lymphocytes and neutrophils, but you be the judge. Let's call this osteomyelitis as well. And if you'd like to emphasize the acute part, you can. But the one thing, other thing I want to show you, and the reason why this is such a terrific case, is this also has that third feature of inflammation, or what we called organizing inflammation. Because in here, for example, you could see predominantly uh, neutrophils. So that's the acute part. We already saw the parts with lymphocytes, perhaps some around here. That might be more of a chronic. But if you look closely, you'll probably find neutrophils there as well. But in addition, look what else we have. We have this kind of tissue here that looks like it is very, very, very richly vascular with all of these budding little blood vessels here, 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 little ones here, 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 here. This is organizing inflammation. This is granulation tissue as well. So all in the same field, which is right here, we have acute organizing and perhaps even focus of chronic inflammation involving both bone and cartilage. That's why the diagnosis on this case is osteomyelitis and chondritis. Thank you very much.